on today's episode of Dapper Daniel. Here is the main entryway, so it goes up 20 foot ceilings within here, and then actually within the shelves is some puck lights that actually are in with each column, a wine fridge that they've installed in here, some more wine storage going on. This is definitely one of the bigger mantles compared to some of the other homes that I've been in. Kitchen here has this huge island that's its own thing, no sink with it. Here's the primary bedroom. So this primary bedroom, actually here's another upgrade. And then walking into the primary bathroom. So you got this floating tub. Uh, so that makes sense. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are gonna be checking out a 296 floor plan by Highland Homes over on the 86 foot lots. This is not one for sale or a quick move in. It was a quick move in at one time, but this is a home I actually put under contract back in April with a family from California that will be closing on within the next two weeks. I actually came by it yesterday. They had the cleaners in there getting it all freshened up and everything. So we're gonna check out this one. That is a five bed, seven bath, two half baths with it. A little over 4,500 square feet within this one. So pretty big home on a corner lot. This is their 86 foot plans on this side that they're building. Highland Home's gonna be coming in later on. They don't have any of their pricing yet for their next phase that they're gonna be building on the west side of Legacy. They're about done with this side over here with Highland Homes and all the other builders. If you guys have been on my channel recently, maybe you've checked out that Britain home that I toured also over in this section as well. But we'll walk through this one, show you guys kind of the layout with this floor plan. Pretty big home gonna be walking through so a little bit longer of a video on this walkthrough so I'm just gonna be doing a tour not like a neighborhood driving afterwards outside it looks so fake right now the eclipse is going on and it's about I think there's still about 15 minutes until oh look the girls got her glasses out oh they can't even see it I they weren't prepared they weren't prepared like Dan I got the glasses I wonder if I can put this in front of the uh, GoPro lens and you guys will be able to see it, maybe catch it on camera, but it looks so weird outside right now. Like it looks super fake. I can't even like explain it. I mean, I'm sure you guys are looking at it too. Uh, what's today? Today's the 14th. Oh, and they got all the lights on. Okay, cool. Let's check this one out. And it's like, what's the temp? It's 62. This is like the first days in the 60s right now. It just looks so weird outside right now. So walking up to the home, they actually did extra pavers on here. So these pavers actually extend out. Over in this neighborhood, they actually don't do garages with three doors. They only do two doors. So if you go through this whole neighborhood, you can have more garages, but they won't be next to each other. They'll kind of be angled, kind of like that home over there where one's facing you know, north and the other one's facing out towards the east. Flower bedding also running along here and then there's a window for inside of the garage within here it's a four car this is where the actual water shutoff for the main home is two tankless water heaters on this back side this is one thing that's a lot different than majority of i haven't seen this a whole bunch this is actually called a golf cart garage so a little bit smaller than your normal garages just something to think about that if you do want to have something where it's easy access in and out of like your lawn equipment or things like that to go into the backyard this will give you a little bit more space so that's a little bit different than what you typically see usually this is just like a door not really like a whole garage door with it. Got the electrical panel also over there. And then, like I said, that window, that brings in some more light. I think it's about to be, I think the full eclipse is gonna be in like three minutes. I don't wanna miss it. I wonder if this will work. Hold on guys, let me see if this will work. If I do this through the camera, uh, think so oh can you guys see it kind of maybe just a little bit you can just see that little burst of orange right there I'm looking at it with my glasses right now let's see here. oh yeah it's almost there you guys clicked on this video not to watch me look at the moon but to uh walk through this home so flower bedding also on the right side you can see they have the lights that actually go up onto the wall of the home this brick is like a soft brown with like white kind of mortared painted over not really painted but kind of has that effect to it also flower bedding on the left side 
Then let's get some lights on. All right, so here is the main entryway. So it goes up 20 foot ceilings within here. There's a little bit of a recessed in wall on this side also that just adds a little bit more dimension. And then you got your chandelier. And then that over there is just like an empty space. I kind of wish that was a little bit more opened up, but essentially that's just like a ceiling on this side and there's nothing that you can really see if that kind of makes sense. But there's like, another little like hidden, I don't even say a hidden room, but there's just like an area over there. So I wish that was a little bit more opened up, but that's kind of what it's looking like or just above the front door. On this side is the secondary suite. It just feels so weird now, like in the rooms too. It feels so weird because of like the light outside. I don't know, I just, I feel weird. Anyone else feel weird on this eclipse day? So this is the primary suite. And then this is the walk-in closet that they have. So three rails then a couple of shelves. And then it also has this window that faces out towards the front yard. You get this window as well. That's a curved window. On these windows, they're actually grid lines. I'm more of a fan of like the flat window look. Sometimes grid lines look good. Sometimes I'm not a big fan of them, but on this window, they have the grid lines and it's curved up there. This is the bathroom. So you got this tub tiled up with its own window. I do like how this one has dual sinks on it. Sometimes I walk through these secondary suites and you go in and they're like, yeah, it's a secondary suite, but there's only one sink in here. So if it really was a, a couple, two people that were living in this room, you, they'd only be sharing one sink. So I think it's better, you know, just something to think about if you are going to be doing a secondary suite within the home, having two sinks here, you got the cabinets that go along, toilet, and then the mirror along here. Up on the ceiling, it actually has this curved arch with one light right over the bathtub. This is the shower. So shower in here, got this tiling, and then on this side is the handle for the shower so that when you turn it on, you don't have to like, you know, if it was right here and you turn it on, you'd instantly get wet. So it is nice being up along that wall within there. So that's the first room. Also behind the door is some built-in shelves for the room. Across the hall from there is gonna be the office space. And then actually within the shelves, is some puck lights that actually are in with each column of the shelves here. Along here, you got these base cabinets that go all the way across as well. So pretty good amount of storage space within here, but I think this would look really good with like books and different decorations. And then you could have like your floating desk right here and then also an outlet and about the center of the room there. This completely closes off, you know, to make it a private office. And then there's a little bit of a curved accent to the wall due to the curved staircase that goes up that way. Then across from the office is the formal dining room. Before you get into the formal dining room, you actually have a couple things going on here with some more wine storage, other little cabinets with glass, and then you also have some more puck lights within each one of the cabinets. These ones aren't stacked all the way to the ceiling. I'm sure you could do that, but they left a little bit of space up above there. Ceilings do go up a little bit higher within here, but nothing like the main entryway. Then on this side, you actually have a wine fridge that they've installed in here. Some more wine storage going on. Into the formal dining room, you have these two large windows on the side of the home that bring in some great light. Depending on which way the home's facing, it's gonna be dependent on how much light comes into this formal dining room. But for this one, since it is a corner lot and the sun is kind of going from east to west over the home like this, a lot of sun's coming into the side of this home, which is kind of nice bringing in some more natural light. This closes off to the kitchen. And I actually wanna walk around the other way and show you guys how awesome this kitchen is. But that closes off and then you can go straight into your kitchen area. But let's go down this way to get the full effect of the kitchen. So this goes into the living room. Now, this space here is pretty tight. So I would say this is probably the only downfall with how this home is laid out. If you guys have seen some of my videos, you know like I'm not the biggest fan of staircases going straight into the hallways. With this one, I do think it looks nice from like this side seeing it curved and like over here. Like that looks like a good visual with the fireplace, patio, sliding glass door, like this all looks good. It's just that when you're moving things into this house now, okay, and you're putting in like your fridge and your couches and your other things, this is just gonna be a tight space within here. This is probably like three feet, four feet. Yeah, three feet. Let's see, uh, I'm doing my, measurements within my head. I feel like that's like a little bit under four feet right there. So super tight space there. So I would say that was, that's the only little hiccup I think with this floor plan. Everything else I really like, it's just that that is a very narrow space in there. Outlets also along each one of these walls here and also in the dining room. 
Let's couple in there. Now this opens back up. You got, let's see if we can get a light on. That's the kitchen light. Let's go over here. Okay, here we go. No, I don't want to turn the fan on. So living room area, got another little dining room over there. Fireplace over to left with the mantle. This is definitely one of the bigger mantles compared to some of the other homes that I've been in. They painted it black. Within this home, the buyers were actually able to, even though that this was a quick move in, we still were able to renegotiate and be able to scratch what they had initially chosen for the design center. And then they were able to go in and really pick just about everything from the floors to the cabinets, to the finishes, to the colors that they wanted to do with the fixtures. So you can see within this one, this family has kept some light touches, but also have made some modern things with some black accents and black fixtures along there, which I think look really good. They stained the beams black. Everything's got like a little touch of dark, but it all has like one common theme within the house rather than each room kind of being different or different colored fixtures within like the primary or within like the secondary bathrooms. I do think this would have been nice to just have one column. I, I guess they have to have another supporting column due to the upstairs and just carrying the load of the house because you have this main supporting beam running across but I think it would have been nice just to have this one column that way when you have your dining room table here you can see your TV it's just that this column here is just gonna be blocking off a lot of the living room over here when you're sitting in your dining room area all right let's talk about the kitchen so Kitchen here has this huge island that's its own thing, no sink with it. Waterfall island, you probably could fit like five to six chairs within here, but there is like enough room to actually put that chair in and hide it a little bit better or maybe a bar stool. And then I like this accent that they actually did with the uh, trim around it and having like this curved look going down just makes it a little bit more grand feeling within this kitchen. This is the monogram gas stove top, which is like, Super upgrade. This is like the top of the top. And they also have this pot filler. I really like all this crown, mold, all this molding that they put along and they made the vent kind of hide within there. You got cabinets on the left and the right side. Also, the top cabinets that go up to the ceiling all have windows with puck lights in them. And then these cabinets have some of the, have like three shelves within them. A little bit skinnier on them, but uh, there's a good amount of cabinets, base cabinets, and then upper cabinets as well. On this right side is the pantry. You got pantry with five shelves within here, probably the smaller thing. Uh, if you look at the size of this kitchen, pantry's a little bit smaller. Maybe just a bit out of proportion with how just big this kitchen is. I just, it just feels a lot bigger because you also have the dining room with its own cabinetry over on this left side. Now that the sun's coming in, the countertops look so cool with this like marble kind of like crystal look to them. All right, going back to the island, on this side, you have drawers that run all along and then you also have cabinets underneath that have these pullouts. And then you got the same type of pullouts that are on these cabinets as well. Double stacked oven for this home, cabinets above, and then you got this microwave here. So monogram appliances for all that. And then you also got some pot pan drawers underneath as well. For this sink, one of the larger sinks, this is an upgrade. Not only did they get the deeper sink, stainless steel with the handle that comes out, like all that kind of jazz, but they also split the sink. So I like this a lot better where you can have like your dirty dishes and be cleaning dishes over on this side. If you're gonna do one of these like farmhouse sinks, I think it is better to be able to do one where it's split down, maybe not quite the middle, but just split. Uh, personally, that's how I like it. Also on this side, you get this window curved just like this other side as well. This window's a little bit bigger, bringing in more light, but you get this window looking out. So you can do the dishes, look outside, and then on the back side of the house, is the media room. So the media room is carpeted. They did the columns that extend out and then these lights actually look like little torches which kind of give like a different vibe to the room. I really like them, I think they're cool. Some of the other lightings that I see within media rooms are kind of just whatever, super plain, but these ones actually have like a character to them. The baseboards, everything is white, the crown molding's white, but they did paint this room black, and then the carpet below is also very dark too. For the patio, you've actually got two doors for this floor plan, so you got one door that comes from like the dining in the 
living room area. I mean, you also got this sliding glass door that opens up with some windows above as well. But this door here leads you into the living room and then that door over there leads you back into like the primary. And there's also a powder room on that side. Let me show you guys what the backyard looks like. Two trees planted on this backside. And then you got this pretty large side yard along with the other side of the home and then some gutters running along the wall as well. And then on the other side, those windows there are for the primary bedroom. The other thing within this patio is that it's got its own fireplace, also got a mantle, and then this wood actually kind of matches up with like the rest of the trim that they're putting on like the exterior. The exterior of this home is like a mocha brown, and then the inside, uh, they did like that black accent I was talking about. Now across from there, before we get into the primary, over to the right, got a powder room, sink, Still need to install the mirror, we're waiting on that. Like I said, this is gonna close in about two weeks, so there's just a few things that they're finishing up right now. Toilet, and then you get this window that looks out towards the backyard. Storage closet, also within this hallway, and then here's the primary bedroom. So this primary bedroom, actually here's another upgrade. Bumped and extended out here. You got these four windows that go across, and then the ceilings go up a little bit higher. And then walking into the primary bathroom. So you got this floating tub. The sinks are split on both sides with cabinets for each one, which I kind of like how this one's laid out. You got this center space here to also get ready in the morning with the window to look out. And then these sinks with the cabinets over on the right side of them, or I guess the left side if you're over here. Below the sinks, you have a couple drawers that are put in as well, and then some storage space underneath. There's the tub here, which they actually put it off the wall a bit, so that'll be nice and easy to clean. Here's the toilet on this side, and then your shower. Within here, it's actually tiled all the way up to the ceiling. Then you got a couple lights, got this shower head, and then your handle up along that wall. All right, this is the primary bedroom closet now. So you got railing on this side. You also have railing in the middle here and then railing that goes all along that wall. This is back out towards the garage. And then before the utility room, you got this little mud room storage area with like five hooks, a few cubbies up there, and then another storage closet underneath the staircase that actually goes down a little bit further with some rails for maybe your coats and then the utility room. They actually did a checkered pattern in here, which is a lot different than what I'm seeing. I'm usually seeing like all these weird patterns within. So I actually like the look of this. I know some people are probably gonna be like, oh my God, it's checkered. But I think for like a utility room, this adds like a little bit of character. I don't mind this. Maybe it looks a little bit outdated for some people, but I like this over some of the other tiling patterns that I see with some of the utility rooms. And then over on the left side is actually more base cabinets. And you got these upper cabinets, sink, more cabinets along here, a rail, and then here's where your washer would go, and then you would have your dryer on this side too. That's the first floor for the 296 plan. Let's go upstairs now. You got this curved staircase for this floor plan. You have this nice little view. You can look out to the living room, and then they've actually stained this black. You could stain this different colors, but they've done full wood on here, which is a bit of an upgrade, a little bit more expensive to do a wood staircase. Not only a hardwood staircase is expensive, but also a curved hardwood staircase can start eating into the budget too. Now going upstairs, more hardwood. Majority of this house is gonna be hardwood. I think really the only place they have carpet is in that media room, which I think that's where you do carpet. If you're gonna do hardwood through the whole house, I would say the one room really not to do it in is the media room. That way that carpet can absorb more of the sound. If you do hardwood in there, it's gonna echo a bit. This landing up here is like a sunroom, gathering room. Maybe you could use it like a game room. It does have these windows that face out towards the front yard. And then also you have this ledge that you can look over into the entryway on this side. And then I guess you can kind of see maybe just a bit of the kitchen, small piece of the living room, but not really. On the front side of the home is the first bedroom up here. Each one of these bedrooms is gonna have its own bathroom within it as well with the full tub. So it's gonna look like that. This is what all of them look like. So you also have the black fixtures, same type of tiling that was in that secondary primary as well. Closet space, it's gonna go down a little bit and then you're gonna have three rails, two shelves on that side and then this is the window 
that faces out towards the front yard. Then they have this little pocketed area. Maybe you could put in more shelves, more desk or something. I don't know if you'd really use this as a desk space. You could, it's just gonna be in the middle of the hallway here with like the chairs and everything, but maybe you could also use this as like built-in shelves, something you wanna do with like this little nook here. Here's the wet bar upstairs. So they got the sink and then you got some upper cabinets, base cabinets, and then another fridge within here. So this house is gonna have two mini fridges and then you're, they're also gonna have their one fridge within the kitchen. So a lot of places they can keep drinks. Up here is another powder room. So this powder room has a little bit more space within it. You could do an upgrade where you do like, you know, a cabinet where you have, where you can have some storage underneath this sink, but I don't think you really have to do that if you also have a closet as well, like this one. So there actually is a closet within this bathroom, unlike that downstairs one that was at the back of the house um, by the patio that didn't have another closet, but it had a closet in the hallway. This one actually has a closet within the bathroom. Across from there is another storage closet. These are the final rooms, which here's the next bedroom, has a window on this left side. Closets the same size as that other one. This bathroom's gonna be the same, same type of tiling, fixtures within there. And then this is the back of the home that goes into the attic there. So last bedroom, same type of closet, window on this side too. Same look for this bathroom as well with like the same type of cabinets and tiling. And then this would be into the attic. So not really a place you can live, but that's where the attic access, or at least one of the attic accesses is gonna be for the home. All right, that is gonna do it for the Highland Home 296 floor plan. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one, showing you guys what 4,500 square foot home looks like with all these bedrooms and all these bathrooms. I would say my favorite part of this whole home is the kitchen. Besides the kitchen, I do really like this back patio space with the fireplace, with the sliding glass door. This will be super nice to enjoy on cool evenings, just like the ones that we're having now in October. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any more questions about Highland Homes or if you're looking to buy over in Star Trail, please send me a text. Other than that, Peace out y'all and take it easy as always. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.